Hi, Brian Kelly from CyberArk. Um, I'm going to talk about sustainable development. Does anybody here like being stressed out? Does anybody here like <laughs> put up their hand? Does anybody here like being overworked, working weekends, and having no time for family and friends? Yeah, it sucks. Nobody likes to do that. Uh, those things not only just suck, but they make our job of engineering and creativity extremely hard. There is a part of the Agile Manifesto that is usually overlooked, and it's sort of buried in the middle somewhere. Here's what it says. Agile processes promote sustainable development, which means the sponsors, et cetera, et cetera, should be able to maintain a constant pace indefinitely. Why does that not, does that not work in Agile environments? It's because of the manager and employee power imbalance. That power dynamic makes it difficult. What I want to do, and I'm on a personal mission and a professional mission for the last few years, but I will continue until I retire, is to make this a thing and pull that out of the Agile Manifesto and give it broader awareness so that we can make this uh, something that we will actually fix as an industry. And we do that by making it explicit between employers, excuse me, employers and employees uh, about their work expectations and what it's like to be on that team. I have found in my experience that naming something is super important, uh, and, and names tend to permeate our lives pretty effectively. So, oh, we're a scrum shop. Uh, oh, yeah, we adopted Semver for versioning our uh, components. We build 12-factor apps, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to give it a name, or I have given it a name, and that's sustainable development. Oh, you're a scrum shop? Yeah. Do you practice sustainable development? Yes, we do. That is a thing I want the industry to adopt. Because getting burned out sucks. Having to leave uh, an employer because it sucks to work there also sucks. All those things just suck. I spent a lot of time refactoring this down into three simple principles. We cannot be super prescriptive about this. We can't say everybody has to work 9 to 5, because then the teams that you know, don't want to work 9 to 5 won't adopt it. The, sustainability, or the sustainable development principles are, number one, you define them. You collectively, and that first word is very important, managers and employees together, collectively define their practices. And they state them. They put them somewhere and they write them down. Then they follow them, which hopefully is obvious, but it still bears uh, pointing out. And then they continually improve them, refine them, make them better. Here's an example of some sample practices. Now, these are the ones, uh, or I'll, I'll, that's a little puzzle for you. Most of these are how we operate in our team. These are some of our sustainable development practices. And if you want to find out which ones are not, come to our booth uh, or talk to anybody who's going to raise their hand right now and say that they're part of my team. They're up there. Uh, things like, you are incentivized to not check in when you're on vacation. If you do, we're going to have a performance management discussion at your appraisal. Because if you are online during your vacation, you're setting the tone that it's expected to not take a vacation, not, dis not disconnect. Uh, we don't schedule meetings on Fridays. Or uh, you are empowered as an engineer to give back pressure to management when terrible planning somewhere else or somewhere up the chain has made your life suck. So all of these things, these are just examples as, uh, as, as sort of like principles you can adopt right now, or you can adapt and you can write your own. Last minute. All right, if you're an engineer and you want to adopt these, great. Get your manager on board, help roll it out. But what I'd really like to see is for people to ask for this in interviewing and say, hey, uh, you know, your recruiter gave me all this great stuff. It sounds awesome. Are you practicing sustainable development? What's that? Well, let me tell you. And even if the, you don't want to use the term, just use the concepts. Hey, could, could you show me you know, your written down explicit expectations for being online, being reachable on Slack, whatever? Oh, uh, yeah, well, everybody knows it. No, no, could you, could you just write it down for me? And there you go. You're starting on that path. If you're a manager, work with your team and demonstrate it and follow it yourself. It does no good if you're a manager and you disregard it and just you know, violate all these practices that you've written down. And use it for hiring purposes. Promote it. We do. Uh, you know, we, 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 when we're recruiting people and phone screening them, we're like ta touting the facts that, that we are doing our best to avoid burnout. There's a website, like every good thing, there's a little microsite. I am the world's worst CSS developer. It's open source. If you know Jekyll or CSS, just please, please make it look better. Um, it's sustainabledev.org. 
Um, and I would love to get more input feedback on it. I would love to see more companies adopting it. You can reach me, Brian Kelly, at Twitter, or for the rest of the afternoon, I'll be at the CyberArk booth. And I went 30 seconds over. Apologies, but thank you very much.